Hi, it's Robbie from Believe in the Run. This is Taylor with Believe in the Run. We're here with John from Merrill, product line manager. John, you're gonna walk us through some of the trail stuff we got coming for 2024. So, I mean, I feel like we're pretty excited about Merrill, kind of on an ongoing basis. One of those brands that sometimes I don't think is enough love in the trail running community, because you guys make some awesome shoes at pretty good price points that I feel like have landed on our list of best shoes like many times. You love them. Yeah. And so I think people need to know, Merrill's <laughs> legit. Like, let's get into it. Let's see what's coming in 2024. So yeah, what do, you, what do we want to look at first? Yeah, so at first we want to look at the Long Sky 2 Matrix. Cool. Um, and so this is really a 0.5 update or an opportunity for us to take one of the least best known trail shoes, which was the MTL Long Sky right. 2. Oh, dude, it was a great and shoe. Yeah. add an additional um, feature set to it yes. by retrofitting the upper with matrix material, adding a TPE uh, sock liner, which is really a ride changer overall. And then from a sustainability aspect, we've dropped a lot of significant pattern pieces because of that matrix material, which makes it a lot lighter weight faster drying and it just is a really overall dynamic shoe even more so than the mtl long sky 2 yeah, which in it itself was a great shoe yeah so yeah it's an awesome opportunity to take you guys love what we love and make it even better nice yeah. you've been a big fan yeah and i've been like one of my here here's the original version the mtl long sky 2 and the comparison it's and I've been actually running in this. It's, it okay. feels much lighter, like you said, just all the way around. And the ride, it does change a little bit, but not too much right. from people who really love this version. Yeah. Um, and I like the Matrix itself, coming from the, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here, uh, the Skyfire too. Yep. Um, it just has a little more underfoot. Yes. For sure. Exactly. What What is the stack height on this one? So this one, I believe, is 25 down. We can check it, but I think it's 25 sure. down to 19. Okay, yeah. Overall. So this is a, definitely a speedier shoe. It's good for ripped-in trails. I mean, you got these nice lugs on here. Vibram Outsole, of course, always good grip. So yeah, this is one of those grip and rip it type shoes, right? Yeah, nice. fantastic. Cool. Mega grip, five mil lug. Like what's the and what's the price point on this shoe? One sixty. Okay, one sixty. US. Cool. Yeah. So to your point, like a lot of a lot of shoes with matrix material and these sort of feature sets yeah. are start with a two in yeah. front of them. Yeah. Right, so right. it's like you're looking at 220, 240, like to have something with matrix and that mega grip compound at 160 is a hell of a deal. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's move on. What do we got next? So next is that same pack of shoes. We've got the MTL Sky. Yeah, we just used that. This Sky Fire too. So this one was recently updated, but this is adding that additional matrix upper as well. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have a sock liner here, but we added 37.5 uh, material to the collar and the tongue lining. Uh -huh. So it really is kind of thermal regulating in that sense. And then again, super quick dry, actually dries faster than the previous version. Yeah. I believe the previous version when submitted in water, I know this is a crazy stat, but like fully submitted in water for three minutes. The previous version dried in like 26 hours, and this one dries under 24 hours. Oh, wow. So from fully being wet to completely dry yeah. in a day, which is wow. really cool. Yeah, that is cool. One of the in, in this one, have. probably, I believe it's the lightest trail shoe I've ever reviewed. Um, and what would you say that this is meant for, this type? Because it's different than the Long Sky 2. Yeah, a lot of people throw around this idea of like a track spike for the mountain, and this is really what that is. <laughs> yeah, um, when we talk light. to the athletes in the VK and Sky Running space, uh, I think I some of the most efficient technology yeah, was how can we strip weight away? So to your point, like all of the shoes that are in that seven ounce space, I do believe it's the lightest trail shoe, to your point. Um, they don't have five millimeter lugs and they certainly don't have the capability going up and downhill in that rugged terrain. So it's an awesome shoe to have in your quiver. It's one of those shoes like maybe you'll use it five times, but for the next five years. Yeah. And so it's worth it, you know, in that sense as well. Nice. All right, and what's the price point on this? So 210 okay, on yeah. that, so it's a little heftier, but there is the two-part midsole and then the full-length plate right. inside. Right, cool. Going. All right, dynamic. nice, yeah, yeah, that's gonna give you that propulsion there. Yeah. All right, cool, let's move on. What do we yeah, got next? so 
we made a lot of so we were thinking as a brand yes. we're like we and make a lot of expert with in like tentacle athlete uh, trail shoes mm -hmm. How do we also address that beginning trail space? Like maybe somebody runs on the road most of the time but wants to try trail for the first time or even occasionally. And so this idea of creating a shoe for beginning consumers, people who are trying trail running maybe for the first time is like the Morph Light. And so this is a $100 trail shoe that has not as much traction maybe in technology underfoot, but it has that same great float pro ride that you see in some of our best models the same last that's on the agility peak and the skyfire so you're getting that fit mm -hmm. um, but more in an economical kind of stylish pattern for a beginning consumer and this will be this is could also be kind of like a road to trail shoe it seems that's like it could it kind of yep. be exactly a one shoe that can do everything yeah and as a trail brand we said to ourselves feels like the spaces a lot of road brands are making trail shoes and calling them road to trail right, right. why don't we make a road shoe and we're a trail brand and we'll call it road like to trail that. yeah so it's like the opposite yeah yeah, yeah. I like that cool yeah. and it was what was the price win on this again hundred dollars a hundred dollars yeah. I mean that's a pretty good like, yeah yeah hundred bucks for a pretty we wanted like to make a, it accessible yeah you know? that's certainly accessible so that's awesome all right. Well, oh, sorry, just one more thing. Yeah, yeah. On this midsole, I know it, it says Float Pro. Is there any difference between this and what you find in in the Long Sky 2? Like, to me, since I've been wearing it, it feels a little lighter, and maybe that's just more of the geometry. Is it lighter, airier? Yeah, the geometry and the flaring. Yeah, it does feel a little bit lighter, but yeah, it's really just that material and then the fact that you don't have as much lug depth and or those the spacing of the lugs and the strips there yeah allow it to just kind of act on its own cool. Yeah. cool yeah okay all right nice all right let's uh we got one more yeah right. the last one right. is we've been getting a lot of demands of like how can we create more of a dynamic fit yeah um yeah. and so we've worked with boa for many years on the hike side and the performance side sure but we wanted to create a shoe around our best-selling model which is the agility peak yeah and how do we bring a boa shoe to the market um so exciting to have this for spring 24 it is in gore-tex um and so it's an awesome model that really highlights the technology that boa has nice in its arsenal cool and, and just to throw another name out there this is really the speed goat-esque trail runner for you guys um what what kind of the midsole do you got what's the stack yeah so this this really is, like you said, more in that main trail space around speed goats, uh, Cascadias, yep. things that we think about. So it's mega grip, full mega grip uh, outsole. Yeah, dude, those logs are big, two lug, five, exactly. yeah, five milliliters. Yeah, and then it's got the traction lug dude, design. Freaking, <laughs> people drag us all the time when we accidentally say milliliters instead of millimeters. So millimeters, <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know the metric system. And then system. it does have the Float Pro midsole, so it's a 31 stack down to 25 okay so it's is, right in that middle range and is that full stack or just midsole stack that's full stack okay not including the sock liner okay gotcha. so it's like kind of that ride height if you right. if you were to change a sock liner or something it's kind of variable okay. so there's a little more in there but cool. and then uh, fully engineered upper with the mud guard that kind of wraps all the way around what we've been hearing and testing lately and before but like when you submerge this shoe like while you're running it actually doesn't pick up a lot of water oh wow. so okay. having a shoe um that's not only designed to not pick up water and then gore-tex like this yeah. thing's super bomber yeah. from that perspective and yeah so this is a standard boa dial um mm -hmm. so but you know obviously get a pretty good lockdown with that i mean overall it looks like a pretty great shoe with like some simple like some nice premium elements but like in a simple package ready yeah. to take take on some like nice adventures yeah i like that and what's the price point on this one so 190 here so we have the vent at 140 mm -hmm. the traditional gore-tex at 170 yeah. and then the boa gore-tex at 190. okay gotcha so cool all yeah. right very cool uh anything else to talk about today we good anything else you know, anything secret that we're gonna show? There might, well, there might be some things coming right. in the ultra space. All right, but yeah, all right, we'll all right, just cool. we'll leave it. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll take that off camera. Yeah. We'll tell yeah. you the Instagram yeah. to zoom in on. Yeah, yeah just exactly. kidding. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you talking with us. And, and I need uh, to get, I need to get one of these mechanic. Oh, fits. yeah, man. <laughs> this is the, this is the vibe. The, we should get like, well, if we got an orange one for Merrill, it probably wouldn't look mechanic. It would you, be more. You might look like a traffic cone, but yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is the future of fashion. Uh, 
uh, you've seen it here first, folks, from the running event 2023. Uh, all right, thanks, cool. man. Appreciate yeah, thank it. you. Man.